Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com and today I am upgrading upgrading is that what you said Adam yes upgrading the RAM in my iMac so I figured if I'm going to have my computer off and I'm gonna upgrade this thing I might as well show you guys what I am doing so basically I have 12 gigs of RAM in here I have two four gigs and then two two gigs in there and I'm taking out the two two gigs and I'm replacing them with some uh, other world computing what are these things RAM chips RAM chips Sims Sims yeah it shows you what I know about this stuff Sims so I've got two four gigs so now I'm gonna have 16 gigs in here um, some things to keep in mind when you're changing RAM or touching anything with the computer I have shoes on because I want to try to be less as static free as possible uh, Adam was telling me over here to like touch the frame of the computer to ground myself or just be careful with that I am no expert but I'm just gonna do this right here so basically all that I have to do here on the iMac is unscrew three of these uh, screws and it should pop right open and it will reveal the four slots now this is a 27 inch iMac so it has four slots where the um, 21 and a half inch only has two slots so here we go here's the inside we have a really 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 dirty intake valve right here which I want to probably clean with some of my compressed air that is approved for this um, so how do we change this well you know what you pull out this tab right here and you've got to push pull pretty boom boom and it popped out both sim cards do you call them sim cards or dim cards sims so this is the other world computing this is two gigs I'm getting rid of that that's gonna stay over here and I didn't listen to any of the rules that Adam said I'm gonna leave the four gigs that came from Apple inside uh, snap back in boom that snapped back in I'm gonna take out one of my four gigs here one of the new ones really really oh uh. do I need like to cut this I think I need to cut this I'll be right back okay I got scissors to open this up so I'm gonna snippety snip that like a moil undo it make sure that I see how this opens so I don't like drop it or anything open opens really nicely touching the computer I'm touching the butt Nemo don't touch the butt Wow, they really put this in here well. How am I supposed to take this out without messing anything up? They snapped this in here, Adam. I know. I've got to figure out how to do this without ruining anything. Here, look. Can you pop that for me? I'll pop the other one. It's the first time I've really done this. Oh, you got it? thanks buddy there you go so here it is this is four gigs and it's going into the top port part uh, portion of the uh, computer moving this flap out of the way there's tracks in here I slide it in use two finger I mean you really have to push this in to hear the snap uh, snap and then from what I've read you just tuck this plastic right back in here boom you get it now the other one I pull the plastic out do the same thing as the first one pull on the tab I mean you really feel like you're gonna break something but you're not taking out the other world computing two gig sim sim card popping the other four gig back in boom Adam thank you I can't see my glasses aren't on <laughs> then I'm gonna pop in the other four gigs right into this slot snap boom slide this back in and now I'm gonna clean it out should I just br spray some air in there buddy yeah. gentle bursts here oh cloud of smoke done that's it screw it back up you should be good to go once you screw this in turn the computer on and now we're powered with 16 gigs of RAM instead of 12 and that's uh, the simple way it is pretty easy to actually change the RAM in this iMac especially the newer ones you pop it open you pop the cards in pop the old ones out no then you pop them in 
pop them out, then pop, you know what I'm saying. And that's about it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. There you go.